Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to create a dotted hexagon pattern in Illustrator. Now before I start with the class I want to show you my five different hexagon patterns in Illustrator class over at Skillshare. I've given you a link in the description below direct to this class so if you're a Skillshare subscriber you'll find another five different patterns over at that class and if you're not a subscriber to Skillshare consider subscribing. I've got a link in the description below which gives you a deal at least as good as the current Skillshare deal and often my sign up deal is even better. And when you subscribe to Skillshare you get access to thousands upon thousands of classes including over 200 of mine. So without further ado let's switch back to Illustrator and here I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to make mine 1200 by 1200 pixels in size but you can make yours whatever size you like. Pressing Control 0 on a PC, Command 0 on a Mac will just center up the artboard in the work area. And we're going to start with a hexagon. So I'm going to the Polygon tool. I'll click once in the document and I'm going to choose to create a polygon that has a radius of 50 pixels, that's the default, and six sides. I'll just click OK. We'll zoom in here because we need to have a really good look at what we're doing. I'm going to turn off the fill on this shape so we only have a stroke outline and I'm going to wind up the stroke outline a little bit because this is going to be the width of the dots. And then I'll go to the stroke panel. Now you can get to it by clicking up here on stroke. You can also go to the appearance panel and click on stroke and the stroke options are there. And of course there's also window and then stroke. So you have lots of ways of getting to the stroke panel. However, if you use this panel, you'll probably find that everything's closed up. So click here to display the extra options. And for this shape, you can see I've got the shape selected. What I want to do is to align stroke to center. That's going to be really important in lining this pattern up later on. So you want the stroke to be centered over the edge of the shape. And then we're going to choose dashed line. And we're going to set a dash value of zero. And then the gap is going to be the separation between the dots. But right now we're not seeing the dots and the reason why we're not seeing the dots is this caps option and it's set to a butt cap and what we want is a round cap and as soon as we hit round cap you can see that the dots are going all the way around the shape exactly as they should. Now you may have a situation where you see something like this where the dots are not evenly spaced around the shape. If you have that happen click here on this option because this aligns the dashes to the corners and path ends so they may not be exactly eight points apart but what they are going to be is centered over the very corners of this object and that's what you want because we have to line these up in a minute and if we can't line them up it's going to be a disaster. Now if you want your dots to be bigger you can just increase the weight. I think I'll increase mine a little bit because it might be easier for us when we're putting the pattern together. So once you've got your shape you can just close down the stroke panel and now we're ready to make this into a pattern. So we're going to make sure that we've got the shape selected and we'll choose object and then pattern make. Click OK. And of course the pattern's not going to look right straight out of the box and that's just fine. We don't expect it to look right. The first thing that we have to do is to change our tile type. So we're going to choose hex by column and that immediately starts moving these hexagons around so everything's looking a little bit better. Now I've got my dim copy set to 70%. In fact, I'm going to drop it down a little bit more for you. So I'm dropping it down to 40%. What that means is that the black one here is the one we're actually working on. And these are the extra pattern elements. Now it doesn't matter what you have set up down here. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the pattern you're making. So you can make any selections here that you like and it's not going to affect your pattern. It's just going to affect how easy it is to make your pattern. And so what I like to do is to dim copies down so that I can see the area I'm working. I also have show tile edge turned on, but I don't really need to have that turned on because I'm seeing my piece very, very clearly. 
You can also increase the number of copies and again it's got nothing to do with the pattern itself. It just allows you to see more of what your pattern is going to look like later on. Now I'm going to zoom in and that is something that you can do in the pattern make dialog is you can use the zoom tool to zoom in close and you're going to want to zoom in because what we have to do is start adjusting the width and height until these black dots and the grey dots are over the top of each other. So to start off with I'm just going to click here to link both the width and the height because they both need to be adjusted and I'm just going to start tapping the down arrow key because that's going to start bringing things in together and you can see that we're nearly all the way there but there's nearly all the way there and there's a step too far so I'm looking at it right now and when I make this adjustment so the width is a hundred these dots are lining up perfectly here so all of these are lining up pretty well the problem is at the top and the bottom so what I'm going to do is unlock this at this stage because I'm going to call the width good but I'm not happy with the height so I need to adjust the height and I need to do it so that I'm not affecting the width so that's why I've disabled this icon now I'll press the down arrow key and just see what happens well when I go to 86 pixels I get a grey at the very top and black at the bottom and when I go up to 87 it reverses here I've got black at the top and grey at the bottom so they're not quite lining up so somewhere between 86 and 87 is the perfect height well 86.5 is halfway between 86 and 87 so I'm going to type 86.5 and then I'm going to hit the tab key or move somehow out of the way so I can see the result and you know that's pretty good I think that it's going to be good enough so having got everything to line up really neatly I can turn off dim copies and we can just double check make sure that our circles look like circles and not eggs which they would if things were not lined up properly and when you're happy you'll just click done now again I'll press Control 0 on a PC that's Command 0 on a Mac just to zoom back out I'm going to take my shape and move it out of the way and now I'll add a rectangle to this artboard that is 1200 by 1200 pixels which is the size of the artboard now it's inheriting the look of this shape so if I don't want it to inherit the look of the shape I can just click here or I can press the letter D I find it easier just to press the letter D and so now I'm going to align this shape to the artboard I'm going to the align options here I'll make sure that I can see these extra options down here which is just a case of clicking on this icon I want to align everything to the artboard so that's selected so I'm going to center it both horizontally and vertically now I don't need a stroke around it but I do need a fill so I'm going to target the fill here and let's go to the swatches panel and we'll locate the swatch that we have created the pattern that we've created so this is our dot hexagon pattern created here in Illustrator now of course you're going to need to save your file or else you're going to lose the pattern and if you want to save this pattern so that you can use it later on then you'll clear out everything that you don't need from the swatches panel here you'll have to leave none and you'll have to leave registration and you will obviously want to keep your pattern but everything else can just be selected and deleted then you'll go to the flyout menu and choose save swatch library as AI now you have to choose this option not the ASE because the AI option is the only one that actually saves patterns if you save it as an ASE it's not going to save your pattern so save it as an AI and it'll go into your user collection so that you can get access to it again later on so I hope that you've enjoyed this video learning how to create a dotted hexagon pattern in Illustrator remember that I've got a link below to my Skillshare class that includes another five patterns including creating a faux pattern and then making that faux pattern into a really large half drop repeat so there's lots of learning in that class and in the description below is a link to it and a link for signing up for Skillshare with that special deal now if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also please feel free to share the video with others and comment I love to hear what you're going to do with this particular pattern until next time my name is Helen Bradley and thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel